Hey, and welcome to another data structures video. And since we're in the kick of AVL trees, we're going to be doing an example of an AVL tree. We're going to be doing a bunch of insertions. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a bunch of numbers that we're going to insert into a single AVL tree. And we're going to perform a lot of rotations, have uh, some labeling, and hopefully this helps you understand AVL trees. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is insert a node with a value of 31. It's the first node, so it's the root. And then we're gonna insert 15. Now remember, it still has to act like a binary search tree. So 15, 15 is less than 31. And then we're gonna insert 28, okay? So 28. Now, uh, after every node, or after a time, every time we insert a node, we have to go up back up the tree and see if any of them are uh, imbalanced. Remember, it's, the, it's called the uh, balance factor, height balance factor. So we just inserted 28. All right, so let's go back up to 15. Uh, this is balanced. You know, less subtree is 0. 0 minus 1, because there's uh, the right subtree has a height of 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. That's fine. Okay, so let's go about the 31. The left subtree has a height of 2. Right subtree has a height of 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. That is not balanced. So we need to do some rotations. So the, when you find the first node that's not balanced, we're going to mark that Z. Then you go down to the next child, and it's the child with the greatest height. So this is obviously the left child because it actually has a height. We're going to note this Y, and then we do the same thing. We're going to go down to Y's child and denote that X, the one with the greatest height. Well, in case this is node 28. All right. So this is, this is a double rotation. So we're going to first do a left rotation. So that means this is going to look like 31, 28, and 15. OK? Then we have to do a right rotation. We have to bring basically the middle node of these three up to the root. All right? So it's going to be like this. And this is then going to look like 28, 31, and 15. OK? So then after that, after it's all labeled, is x, z, and y. OK? We just did our first rotation on an AVL tree. We had to do it very early. So the next number we're going to insert is 21. Well, that's less than 28, but greater than 15. So it's going to go here. OK, so let's go back up. Um, let me erase these for now. So uh, 15, we're going to first look at 15. This is balanced. So uh, because left side tree is 0, right side tree is 1, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. That's fine. It's balanced. So let's go up to 28. The left subtree has a height of 2, right subtree has a height of 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, that's balanced. So this tree is good, okay? So the next one we're going to insert is 18. So we're going to insert 18, so less than 28, greater than 15, less than 21. Well, here's where it goes, all right? So let's get back up the tree. 21, that's balanced. Uh, 15, this is not balanced because the left subtree is 0, the right subtree has a height of 2. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Difference fact has, it's a greater difference factor of 1. Not balanced. So the first node is not balanced. You denote z. Uh, then you go down to the greatest child of z. Mark that y. Then you go to the greatest, or the child with the greatest height. So we do the same thing for y. And that is 18. We're going to mark that x. So the first thing we're going to do is have a rotation, we're going to be a right left rotation, another double rotation. Okay, so we're going to do this first. We're going to bring x to where y is. All right, so let's come up, come up here. So this is going to be 28, 31, please forgive my drawings, 15, 18, 21. Okay. 
So then the next rotation we're going to do is we're going to bring 18 up to where 15 is, okay? Because this is still not balanced, right? So we're going to need to do a left rotation. This is the single rotation. This is a single left rotation. So now this is going to look like 28, 18, 15, 21. I think 31 is going to be the same. Okay. So now this is bound. So you take any of these nodes. So if we take the root node 28, the left subtree uh, has a height of 2, the right subtree has a height of 1, 2 minus 1, 1. The balance factor is not greater than 1, so it's balanced. Okay. <clears throat> now let's move on. And again, let's, uh, let's mark these. So this, uh, see, this was uh, x, y, and z. And then whenever we did the rotations, you know, x became the uh, parent of the, they call it trinode rotation. There are three nodes involved. Okay, z, y. All right, so that's where they all ended up. Now, this is how we're going to be coding things, right? We're going to be labeling nodes z, x, y, and z, and then doing rotations around those nodes when we actually code this, all right? So let's go move on to the next number. That is 10. 10 is less than 28. Less than 18, less than 15, 10. All right, so let's go ahead. Let me erase these. Let's go ahead and go back up. Go back up the tree and uh, see, what, see what nodes, if any, are not balanced. So go back to 15. This is balanced. It's uh, left subtree of 1 minus left, uh, right subtree of 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. That's fine. 18. Left side tree is 2, right side tree is 1. Uh, the heights, by the way. 2 minus 1 is 1. That's balanced. Now let's move up to 28. 28 has a left sub tree. The greatest height is 3. And its right side tree is a height of 1. Well, 3 minus 1 is 2. The balance factor difference is greater than 1. So this is not a balanced tree. So we know that Z, or 28, we're going to label Z because it's the first node that's not balanced. Then we're going to go to the child that has the greatest height. That's 18. And then we're going to go to the next child that has the greatest height. And that's 15. All right, so now we have this set up. Now this is a straight line. You know, it's left heavy, right? This is only requires a single rotation, but there's going to be some other stuff involved. Uh, so this is going to be a right rotation because it's left heavy. Uh, or you can say it's because when you do 2 minus 0, it's positive. That's how you can know you can do a right rotation. If the balance factor is negative, you do a left rotation. So we need to bring y as the, as the root now okay, in this rotation. And the other thing is uh, 21 here. This is going to have to be, this is going to have to be reattached somewhere else. Because 18, uh, it can't be 21, right? The right child of 18 is going to be 28, and the left child is 15. It's no longer going, 21 is no longer going to be attached to 18. So what do we have to do? Okay, well, let's, let's, let's find out. Let's just do this. All right, so we need to move y up to the root. So that's 18. The right child is 28. The left child is 15. Okay, we know that. We know that the left child of 15 is still 10. We know the right child of 28 is still 31. All right. Now, in the examples, when I did the AVL tree explained video, these are kind of the subtrees, the triangles that we were talking about. All right. So uh, we're going to have to move uh, 21 over. But where do we move it? Well, 21, where does it naturally go? It still has to be a binary search tree, right? So 21 is greater than 18, but less than 28. So this has to go here, 21. All right, again, forgive the drawings. So now we have a balanced tree. We can take any node here, and it's all balanced. Okay, so let's go on to the next number, and we're going to insert 5. So 5 is less than 18, less than 15, less than 10. Boom, left child of 10. That's 5. All right, now we have to check to make sure everything's balanced. Um, Go back up the tree. Is 10 is balanced. 
1 minus 0 is 1, balanced. Let's go up to 15. Uh, well, left side tree is 2, right side tree is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. That's a balanced factor greater than 1. Um, not balanced. All right, so because let's label these again. Z is denoted as the first node that's not balanced. And then we go to the child with the greatest height. So that'd be 10. And then Y is greatest. The Y is child with the greatest height. We mark that X. Well, it's here. Okay. Again, this is a single rotation because it's left heavy. And they're all in a straight line. Okay. So we are going to have to basically move Y up to Z. And that's going to be in that trinode restructuring. That's going to be the new parent. All right, so let's come over here. So now this is going to look like 18, 28. This, this size is still going to stay, stay the same, so we can just easily draw this. Let's see, 31. And then uh, we're bringing y up to z. So this is going to be 10, 15, and then 5. Okay, now are all of these balanced? Yes, they are. You can take any node here, and this is now balanced, right? All right, so let's insert another number. Let's insert 55. Well, that's greater than everything, so it's going to be the furthest right child. So it's greater than 18, 28, 31. Boom, 55. Uh, let's, let's go back at the tree. Even though I can see this is balanced code-wise, the program's not going to know. It's still going to have to check. We can see it visually. So let's go back up, 31. Uh, every, the, that, that's balanced because uh, left side tree is 0, right side tree is height of 1, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. That's fine. Go back up the tree, 28. Left side tree of height of 1, right side tree height of 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Balanced. And then 18. Uh, left sub tree height of two, right sub tree height of three, two minus three is negative one, still balanced. All right, so we're good. Once you hit the root node and it's still balanced, you're fine. Now let's do uh, 50. All right, let's, so let's make this. We're going to end up inserting 50 here. Eight is greater than 18, 28, 31, but less than 55, so we insert 50 here. Now let's go back up the tree. Uh, 55. That's not, or that is balanced. 1 minus 0 is 1. That's the height balance factor. 31. Uh, left subtree of 0, right subtree of 2. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. That's not balanced. Okay, so we, because 31 is the first node that's not balanced, we're going to mark that Z. Um, then its child with the greatest height is marked Y. So that's here. And then Y's child with the greatest height is 50. So that's X. All right, and the goal is this is a double rotation. So we're gonna have to do a right rotation and then a left rotation. So let's do the right rotation first. Ooh, 18. See, the left sub tree can stay the same. Five, 15, and then 28, 21. And then this is 31 is still going to stay stay here, but uh, we're going to go like this because 50 is going to replace 55. It's going to be the new parent of it. All right. And this is still not balanced, as you can still see here. So we still have to bring 50 up to 31. All right. Because it's a double rotation. So we said a right rotation and now we do a left rotation. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually just going to erase this. So it's 31, 50, and 55. So 55. Or, yeah, 50 is going to end up going here. And then let's see, let's erase this. We can erase all this. And then we're going to bring 31 right here and then 55 here. Okay. And now this is balanced. You can take any node here and it's going to be balanced. All right. So we've done quite a few uh, rotations and definitely quite a few insertions. All right, now this is how when we code it, you always have to insert, just like a binary search tree, it's the post-processing that matters. You have to go back up the tree and make sure all the nodes are balanced. Any that aren't, you have to do the rotations to make the tree balanced. Remember, we want the operations of this tree to be um, 
big O log of N, which is better than big O of N, okay? So uh, in the next video, we are gonna be doing, the, I'm gonna be doing deletions as examples. So we're gonna have, I'm gonna make this tree, but make it even bigger. And we're gonna just delete random nodes. And then we're gonna have to perform rotations after we do those deletions, okay? Because deleting is still the same in binary search tree. It's always the post-processing, okay? That's what we need to worry about. All right, well, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy to help you or I will do more example videos so that you understand this, okay?